So, Ms. Lee, you had a question about your model in regard to uh, putting a uh, gear made on your worm gear. And uh, I kind of worked out uh, some uh, details in this a little bit, and now I'll, I'll show you how to work it. But I also uh, kind of hid some of your components in here so that uh, the only thing we're really looking at here are the shafts and the gears themselves and some of the components that are related to it. Your gearbox is uh, taken out, or I just hit it. So uh, that could be brought back into shape too. So you might want to do that when you do this. I also had to delete a relationship in here too in regard to, I think it was the center of the of the worm gear, or the plane that went down right in the middle of the center of that worm gear, and um, uh, there was a plane in here too. So actually, let's take a look at that. So is this a relationship in here? What you had was the right plane associated with the front plane of your gear here. That really doesn't quite work because when your gear turns around, that right plane is also going to rotate too, and you probably don't really want that. So you actually want to have something that, um, you know, it's a little bit more flexible. Once you lock those things up, that uh, that gear will not be able to move. So I think right now it's in, in pretty good shape. So this wheel, it will turn the worm gear, and what we're trying to do is get the worm gear to uh, turn uh, its mate over here in regard to the, what appears to be a spur gear. It's uh, the worm gear mate over here, the wheel gear on that. So let's go ahead and do that. What it is, I highlighted uh, some of the sketches, uh, your base sketches that define the gears a little bit. What you really need to do is get the pitch diameters in here rather than uh, these sketches in here because this uh, uh, diameter in here is not your pitch diameter, it's actually the outside diameter, but it's the only one I have and you may be cut from there. The same thing with your uh, worm gear. Uh, it's actually the outside diameter here too. So find a pitch diameter. You also need to get the right ratio on these uh, and uh, and it'll get it to work correctly. So once you have that done, now you can do your mate. And so uh, I would just do do a regular uh, gear mate. It's a mechanical mate, so let's go ahead and choose that. And our two selections are going to be those two uh, sketch circles. But uh, what you really need is your pitch diameter circles, rather than the circles that we have here, as I mentioned. And all it'll give us a ratio. You know, it's about a, a one to three ratio approximately, but it it isn't quite correct. So when we go to the green check mark. When we turn this, a uh, very small movement of the worm gear is resulting in a much greater movement of your uh, of its mating gear over here, and that isn't quite correct. So, get the uh, gear ratios correct, and find your pitch diameters. So define these pitch diameters and make those uh, visible, so you can actually get these uh, gears to mate correctly. Okay, thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you soon. See you in class.